Hey everybody, this is Alex Fantasy and I am back once again bringing you another episode here of our Let's Play of Pokemon Red for the original Game Boy. In our last video, we made it all the way to Cerulean City from Mount Moon. We were able to do a little bit of training by doing a little bit of leveling up and we were also able to defeat Blue for our third victory against him. In this video here, we're going to be continuing on as we also learned that there is a Pokemaniac build to the north and we're going to be going to visit him here in this video. But first, we have to make our way up through the bridge here and this is Nugget Bridge! Beat us five, beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? I think we do. Let's get started here with the first trainer. Alrighty, Bugcatcher wants to battle. Alright, there we go. Level 14 Caterpie, which you should have evolved by now, but that's alright. Anyway, I'm hoping you're all enjoying again this series here. I've now uh, started uploading uh, two videos uh, per day on Saturday and Sunday, a couple hours apart. So make sure you keep checking back in as uh, you'll get double, uh, four episodes actually over the weekend. So hopefully that'll be enough for you all to enjoy. Because this is a long series. And obviously, I don't want it to be super long, but that's all right. Uh, uh, the battles enough throughout the videos and stuff will make this a long enough series. So we should be, uh, should, if I can upload uh, a couple of them per day, you know, over the weekend and stuff like that. Hopefully, you'll all enjoy that and let me know if you guys want me to change anything up. And again, don't forget to make sure you leave a like, share, uh, share this video and comment on. Let me know what else you would enjoy here on this channel. All right, we got a Weedle here now. All right. Uh, I think we'll switch out here and throw out our Sandshrew here. That way it's not weak against Poison. Ah, uh, man. Been so busy with work and stuff like that lately and all kinds of other stuff's been happening. Uh, but I'm glad I'm able to come back and enjoy a little round of Pokemon. Slash here is almost 100% critical when I, at least when I play it. He can pretty much, he, he can pretty much just breeze through anything. That's why I definitely recommend getting a Sandshrew if you're playing the blue version. I did my best. I have no regrets. Well, good for you. I'm second. Now it's serious. Well, Moshu's come out to visit me once again here. She snoozes on the couch. It's pretty late when I'm actually recording it. It's like 10 p.m. in the evening here. Holy cripes. All right, we'll take out our magic carp and throw out our Pikachu here to take on this Pidgey. Ooh, a quick attack can do some big damage. Yay, Karamba! Critical hit! Alright, we come back with a nice, super effective move. Ah, crap. Sand attack. Quick attack. Nice. A long way to go for our Magikarp to evolve, uh, but we should be able to get it there, hopefully, throughout maybe this video, if we can get the builds here, or at least get it up really close. Send out Sandshrew now. Again, we got that devastating Slash attack. Like I said, if you have a Pokemon that can learn Slash, Slash is going to be your best friend. You can pretty much almost breeze through any Pokemon. And if it doesn't kill it, it'll bring it down to enough low of health, especially if you're looking to capture it. And we've defeated the last. Well done. How could I lose? I did my best, but I have no regrets. Here's number three. Oh, I won't be easy. All right. All right, got a youngster here with a Rattata. That's not good. With its devastating quick attack, let's try out our Nina Reno for the first time. Took a hard tackle there. That's all right. We'll take a quick attack and come back with a devastating horn attack. Obviously, with the evolution, Nidorino is now going to be able to take more hits and dish out more. That's one of the... He's a he's a good tank, I'd say, uh, early on here. He can take a lot of big hits, especially from those who do devastating damage. Our Nekin's coming out. Head on back to our good buddy, Magikarp. And I think we might be able to... Uh, yeah, probably not, because it's probably got Poison Sting and Wrap. And obviously our tackle's not really going to do much of anything. Yeah, I didn't think so. And I'm not waiting around for all those wraps. Here comes Sandshrew back again. A 
crap, man. So annoying. And it's faster, so it could have just easily been able to devastate me with rap all the time, but hopefully our slash can even the odds here. Nice critical hit as always. Last Pokemon he's gonna use is gonna be a Zubat. And I'll go ahead here and bring out our Magic Carp once again. And another quick switch out here. We'll bring in our Pikachu to devastate this Zubat with a good old Thunder Shock. Ah, but Super Sonic's gonna get us first. Hopefully, we'll be able to still make a move here. Nope. Getting hit in confusion. Holy crap! 15 damage, man. Ouch. Come on, Pikachu. Nice. It got through the confusion. Was able to attack. Ah, oh, it didn't beat it. Are you kidding me? Quick attack. Yes, thank goodness. All right, so a nice victory there. Some experience points, and Pikachu is now level 19. All right. Ow, Stomp Flat. You bet your ass you were. I did my best. I have no regrets. I'm number four, getting tired. Oh, pardon me. Oh, this last one's to fight. And it's going to send out a Pidgey. Oh, great. Just, ow. Oof, just banged my foot off my table. Ouch, 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 ouch. All right, let's switch on over here. Let's go back with Nidorino here. We're going to have to try to level it up. And again, I'd recommend being around uh, level 21 when you go up against the gym leader that will be coming up uh, probably in a couple videos. But we do have one special other video to do once after we leave uh, Bill's house. We also have a few more Pokemon uh, to capture. Alright, got some experience. We got a Nidoran coming. We'll take out our uh, Magikarp once again. Alright, go Magikarp, go! Get in there and do some damage. Ooh, very little damage. And then take a lot of damage. Jesus. Alright, Butterfree, you're up. Alright. A little bit of confusion coming your way. Wow, it survived it. Nice job. And down it goes. Well done, Butterfree. Way to get the big damage done there. And we defeated the last. I lost too. You're darn right you did. I did my best. I have no regrets. All right, finally, number five. I will stomp you. This is going to be the strongest one of the bunch. He's going to have the strongest Pokemon that we faced. And it will be a level 18 Mankey, a fighting Pokemon. One of my favorite uh, co uh, favorite evolution combos in the game. Mankey and its evolutionary form, Primate. Too bad it's not exactly the strongest, but it's a lot of fun to play as. Confusion will do some devastating damage to fighting types since it is a psychic move. We'll definitely use our Butterfree here. And there we go, some massive damage. Getting some big experience points, and we've defeated the Junior Trainer. Whoa, too much. I did my best, and I have no regrets. All right, the final guy here. Congratulations, you've beaten our five contest trainers. And you've just earned a fabulous prize. Red received the nugget. By the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh no, he's gone all godfather on us. And looks like this Team Rocket has been trying to recruit some bad guys. Seriously, why was that never a feature in any of the Pokemon games where he go bad? All right, so we got an, uh, an Ekans coming our way here. We'll throw out our Magic Carp to do some damage. Ooh, actually, keep going. It missed. Ooh, critical hit. So, so little. Go, Magic Carp. Go. Go until you can't go no more. Poison Sting. Oh, six damage. All right, you can keep it going. As long as it doesn't do wrap. Or do another Poison Sting after this. All right. Ah, we're dead. Sorry, Magikarp, but you done did. All right, well, let's switch out here and throw out our Sand True. 
And our Sandrew, uh, unfortunately, Sandrew is a little bit slow, which is the unfortunate part. All right, Pokemon coming our way. It's going to be a Zubat. We will go ahead here and throw out our Nidorino here and see if it can uh, take a few hits or get in a few hits. We'll use our Horn Attack here and see if we can do some devastating damage to it. Ooh, we're going to take some damage here. Yep. Super effective here against Poison types, that bug move. Ah, but the Horn Attack finishes it off. We've defeated the rocket! All right, well done. Arg, you are good. With your ability, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Well, give me the opportunity. Where's the option that I can do that? No, there isn't enough, of course. All right, so now what we need to do here is head up over here. We got a free item. TM45, that is Thunder Wave. Very nice. And now we need to head on back here. And heal up. Very nice, and head on down over here. All right, we'll do a quick little... Do, 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 well done. All right, so our next goal coming up, we have a chance to capture some more Pokemon, and we're also, and we're gonna be getting uh, two of them here that are going to be uh, very, uh, very well needed, and ones that we're probably gonna be uh, using on our team for a little bit. All right, we'll head on up over here. Do, 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 head on back over here. Now, there is going to be a trainer that we're not going to want to fight. He's going to be right here, at, right to the left here, but we're going, to, we're going to go all the way over here and go all the way down. Do not battle this guy no matter what. Ah, there's the Pokemon we wanted to capture. It's an Abra. Unfortunately, I put out the wrong Pokemon first, so we're just going to have to try to throw a Pokeball out and see if we can capture it without lowering its health. Didn't think that was going to work. Okay, so down it goes. What we need to do here is we need to throw out a Pokemon here that has a sleeping move, and hopefully we'll be fast enough to capture that Abra, and that will be our Butterfree here. Uh, but we also have two other Pokemon that we're going to be able to capture in this area. Well, that's not it. All right, let's see if we can at least capture these Pokemon. Or at least have one of them show up. Come on, show up. Come on, of course, I walk into the one Abra that I see. Oh, come on! There are so many other Pokemon here that should appear a little bit more often than the Weedles here. Oh, it'd be really super if I had something that could make me go a little bit faster, but unfortunately, we don't have that yet. Of course, since it's the older generation, there's no running shoes to make you go really fast. Ugh. All right, looks like I'm going to have to cut away here until we have found at least one of the other three Pokemon that we're going to want to capture. So we will cut back here if this Pokemon is not one of them. So hold on. Yeah, all right, we'll be right back. Okay, so we found one here. It's the Bellsprout. It's the blue exclusive, but we've gone ahead here and uh, found it here. We'll see if we can do some damage to it and capture it. Again, Bellsprout, one of my favorite grass Pokemon in the original game and even into the second and third generations. All right, special is rising. Doesn't really matter because with another tackle... Oh, don't kill it! Well, critical hit, one damage. Pokeball, go! All right, Bellsprout was caught. We got new data for Bellsprout. It's the Flower Pokemon number 69 in the Pokedex, a carnivorous Pokemon that traps and eats bugs. It uses its roots, root feet to soak up needed moisture. All right. All right, so what we'll do again is we will cut back one more time when we have encountered... Oh, never mind! We've got the next one right off the bat. Hey, wouldn't it be awesome if we got the Abra and the third one? That'd be great. 
We'll go ahead and keep using our Butterfree here to do some much needed damage to it to uh, capture it. Obviously we will use our tackle. Our confusion would probably just devastate them. Uh, oh, a little bit more. One more tackle should do it. Okay, that should be enough. Throw the Pokeball at it. Pokeball, goo! All right, well done. All right, Oddish is the weed Pokemon. It buries itself underground and uh, throughout the daytime, and at night it wanders around sowing its seeds. The number 43 Pokemon in the Pokedex. All right, so we just need that one other Pokemon that we need to find here, and hopefully we'll be able to encounter right here. If not, we'll cut away. All right, we will cut back in just a second when we've encountered that elusive Abra. We will be right back. Okay, so here we are with our second go around here trying to capture an Abra. Let's see if our sleep powder will work on it. Yes, it does. Very nice. It fell asleep. Now let's go ahead here and use our tackle attack. Do some good damage to it. That's perfect. Now we should be able to capture it now with the Pokeball. Pokeball, go. And just like that, we've captured ourselves an Abra. All right, new Pokedex data will be added for it. It is the Psy Pokemon number 63 in the Pokedex, and it uses its ability to read minds, and it will identify impending danger and teleport to safety. All right. So there we go. We've captured all the Pokemon we need, and what we're going to do is obviously we, were, we are going to come back in the next video. We're going to train up a couple of those guys and get them all set, and we'll be able to start off with a little bit of tinkering to help capture a very special and legendary Pokemon. What Pokemon that will be, you'll have to wait and see in our next video. So, I'm Alex Fantasy, thanking you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Follow me on Twitter by clicking the link in the description below. And if you'd like to help donate to the channel, any donations are appreciated by clicking the link and donating through PayPal. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.